Hey Gemini, thank you so much for coming to your weekly love reading. This should resonate for Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Those of you that are cross watching, welcome, welcome. It can be your situation or your partner's. It just kind of depends. Um, if you haven't already, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell if you want to receive alerts for when I post my readings. Also, too, please feel free to comment. And um, with that being said, let's just go ahead and hop into your reading. I already pulled who the hell you guys are dealing with, or I should say we are dealing with, and it's the sun. So let's just throw out the obvious, possibly a Leo. Okay, we're going to clarify it. How does Gemini feel romantically about this person? How does Gemini feel romantically about this person? Yo, King of Cups or a Scorpio or a Leo. Oh, I'm here for this. Yes. All right. What is the current situation or um, what is the current situation between Gemini and their person of interest romantically? Wow, that just shot the hell out. Three of Pentacles, okay, that's Mars and Capricorn. Uh, you guys always ask me what cards I'm using. Um, for the obstacle or block, I am using the Kipper fortune telling deck, okay? I actually really like these. I got these in the other day, and um, they're pretty, pretty on point. Uh, to the point where I didn't want to acknowledge it. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I'm like, God damn it, that's not true put them back and then it came out like two or three times. I'm like, Fuck you universe, God damn it. Yeah, just kidding, no, I'm, I'm, but seriously, I was a little pissed. Um, all right, uh, what is the current obstacle or block for Gemini and their partner romantically? Current obstacle or block for Gemini and their partner romantically? Hmm. What's the current obstacle or block for Gemini and their partner of interest romantically? High honor. That's kind of interesting. Haven't seen this one come out just yet. All right. And what's the best potential outcome for these two romantically? What's the best? Oh, Empress. Yeah. Yes. You know, I'm here for this. So I do think, and I'm going to say this because we have the three of swords at the bottom with the six of cups at the top. Um, Gemini, I do feel like you guys may have taken a hit. Like there's something from the past that may have totally hurt you um, and really hurt you a lot. And maybe you were broken hearted about this person, but I feel like that's the past and this may be somebody new coming in or it's your partner just getting their head out of their ass. Possibly I could be lying, but you know, hopefully that's what they're doing. Um, give me a sec. Now, with the sun, the sun breaks down to the number eight, which is definitely the manager number. And this is also the number eight is ruled by Capricorn or not Capricorn. It's ruled by Saturn, which is Capricorn. So some of you may be dealing with somebody that has like a Capricorn moon, Capricorn rising, uh, Capricorn Mercury. I don't know. But this person is very ambitious, uh, business minded, practical. Uh, they do have a level of authority, and I think for you, Gemini, you probably like that shit because it's like, oh, you're telling me what to do? Like, part of you wants to get pissed, but then the other part of you is kind of turned on. Um, this person you feel as very successful and accomplished. Um, you may feel like they are a little bit materialistic or they do have a little bit of a forceful nature. Like, if they want something, they verbalize that very, very uh, strongly. Uh, they also take commitment with responsibility, right? And they feel like with commitment, it's almost like they take it like it is a job, right? It's like they take it very seriously because they feel like it's their responsibility to provide a level of security uh, for you and for your family um, and a level of stability. And sometimes I feel like this person probably in the past has alienated people because maybe they've not necessarily... Um, met their standards. The other thing about this person is as much as they are a very strong masculine energy. Now, those of you that are men, what's up, Nate? I see you. How's it going? Um, those of you that are men that do watch this, this person, if it's a woman or if it's another man, whatever your situation is, or if it's a unicorn, I don't know, but their energy tends to be more dominant. Like this person has a very strong dominant energy 
but then they also have that side where they're very gentle and warm, okay? So just kind of keep that in mind, but also to uh, Gemini, with the sun, it's like, remember, when the sun goes down, there are still shadows or things that you don't know about this person. Give me more information on Gemini's person of interest romantically. Okay. Okay, Justice, Libra. Definitely, <laughs> if he's all, ugh. Definitely could be somebody that, you know, is in the legal system. No somebody... offense, Libras. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm going to get roasted by all the fucking Libras because no of you. Offense. Okay. No Libras, Libras are always like, you hate us. No. I'm just like, no, I don't. I'm, I'm Libra rising. Okay. So like, I get it. I fucking get it. Um, it could be somebody that's into politics, the legal system. This could be somebody that's an attorney. This could also be somebody that's having uh, financial issues or in the legal system. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. I forgot what I was just thinking. Let me ask Give me more information about... Um, they may even have said that they want to marry you. Give me more information about Gemini's person of interest romantically. Like, very, like, you know, like, you're somebody I want to marry. Just romantically. Three of Swords reversed. I think that they've been hurt in the past. And again, this is Saturn and Libra. I think that this person also has been hurt in the past. And it's like they're coming out of this Three of Swords. And I think that they were really hurt. I genuinely do. Especially with that Three of Swords. And now we have Death, which is ending to this. So there's Scorpio. It's an ending to this Three of Swords. And I feel like it, it, this person is undergoing um, a major transformation. This person has a sense that they've lost. That like they've had like a large loss, I feel like. But now it's like they're coming out of that. And now it's like a level of transition or transformation, um, a rebirth, what's coming, what comes after death, okay, the princess of cups, definitely a surprise, okay, what's being, I think that you may have been a surprise to them, that's what I get, especially with this two of wands, that two of wands, that's Mars and Aries, and the thing about um, somebody that has a Mars and Aries is the fact that, you know, they know exactly what they want, okay? That's, that's the first thing. This also can be a long-distance relationship. Maybe this person, because we have the camels, possibly, you know, somebody that lives in a very hot area or terrain, maybe Middle East or something like that. Um, also, too, with the Two of Wands, you know... This person, I feel like it's surprising because they kind of look at love as like a conquest, I feel like. It's like sometimes they get in trouble because they just want to like really get in and do something. It's like they want what they want. This person is somebody that really likes hair or your face. Like they're somebody that will definitely like grab your hair or touch your face, especially when you're making love. Sometimes this person can be impatient or selfish especially in bed. And I do feel like for them, they can fall in and out of, you know, crushes, or you may view them as like impulsive sometimes. Like they know what they want and they listen to their instincts and they're very quick acting. And I feel like with this person, they're always like one step ahead or that's how they um, are perceived. Okay. How you feel about them as the King of Cups. So how you view this person, and even though they view themselves as the Princess of Cups, you see them as the King of Cups. So maybe for them, it's like they're still a little bit hurt, and they're still kind of healing emotionally. But whatever they've shown you, they're coming across as a king. So, you know, their emotions are very consistent. Uh, they're coming across as very emotionally secure, very loving, very caring. My feel Okay. King of Pentacles. Um, also somebody that is very stable, um, has a level of structure. Uh, this can also be, again, so we have Scorpio. They may have Scorpio in their chart, Taurus, or even Leo. This person does have a lot to offer. But I feel like, um, Gemini, you may not see that initially. Or maybe you see it, but it's not as clear. 
Prince of Wands, okay? And it may be because they're trying to move quickly, especially when it comes to you. Why? Why do they want to move quickly with Gemini? Why do they want to move quickly with Gemini? And this can be Sagittarius as well as another Gemini. Why? Why do they want to move quickly? The Knight of Wands. I, I mean, the Nine of Wands. I feel like they're just tired of waiting. That's Moon and Sag. It's like this person is ready to like pick up and go. It's like they're tired of waiting. I feel like this person knows exactly what they want. Uh, I feel like your person is somewhat impatient. And I feel like, you know, they don't like when things are stuck. They like to be in control and they like to move in the manner that they want to move. Okay, that's something I do want to note. Okay. What is uh, Gemini like about this person? What is Gemini like about their partner? And I do feel like this person may be at a distance. Gemini like about this partner? understanding okay there's the page of cups again i think that you like the fact that um this person is taking the time to understand you it's like they're not completely like crossing you off because i think for you gemini um based on the cards based on before i started talking about your reading i think you both have been through something so there is some type of understanding here what's being understood Okay. What what is Gemini or what does this partner understand about Gemini? Why are you showing me this? What does this partner understand about Gemini? The Eight of Pentacles. Okay, I think that they understand that for you it has to make sense, right? It has to make logical sense. Eight of Pentacles is also Virgo energy, so I feel like they understand. Like they're, they're trying to understand how you think and how you work. They also see that you're very particular with the details, right? And there's a level of efficiency and lot and logic to you. So they understand that. You know what I mean? And, and I feel like they're not they're not doing what other people do, or maybe they blow you off or blow off how you feel. It's like they want to work through it. They want to understand. Okay, here's the King of Pentacles again. Because I do feel like this person does have a lot of abundance or they view you as somebody that has a lot of abundance. Either way, you both are coming up as kings. And they understand that maybe right now what they're seeing is the page of cups, but at the end of the day, it's still the king, right? The king of pentacles. <clears throat> now we have the three of cups for your situation. Now, the interesting thing about the Three of Pentacles is the fact that, um, you know, that's definitely Capricorn Mars, right? And I feel like uh, with this, it's like the issue may be that something is much like too controlled or like you guys are trying to figure out the logistics, especially if you're far away, right? It's a controlled style of approaching life, right? And I think that um, it's very goal-oriented, and also working towards a, you know, working towards what you want, really writing down like, okay, for instance, if you're at a distance, I'm going to fly out to see you on this day. You're going to fly to see me on this day. When I see each other, when we see each other, this is where we're going to stay. This is what we're going to do. You know, what are the plans? Like, this is something that is very much worked out, right? This is something that is uh, plans for the future, okay? Okay. Um, give me more information the current situation. Okay. Because right now I feel like Gemini, you're going back and forth. Okay. Especially with this two of pentacles and that's Jupiter and Capricorn. I feel like for you guys, I'm going to be honest. I think, you know, you're trying to take, take a step back and, you know, really uh, be practical when it comes to this person, because maybe for you, like this person is too good to be true. So it's like, you're like, okay, well, what's the, you know, what's the deal here? Like, I feel like it's being held up on your end to a pentacles. It's like, you're going back and forth. You're trying to be very practical and very realistic. And it's like, you're worried about taking a risk here because you need, you need a direction or a clear goal, like in something that, that shows like tangible results because of what's happened in the past. 
What is uh, Gemini's partner's perception of the situation between them and Gemini? What is their perception of it? The Six of Cups. I mean, I think for them in that Scorpio, I think that, you know, they understand that your past has a lot to do with how you move or how you think. But I think for them, it, it's really about getting close to you, having a conversation, you know, actively being successful in forward movement, having conversations that are difficult, right? Mercury in Aquarius, being unpredictable, having those conversations, being extremely honest, you know, King of Wands, possibly about a Leo. But it's also, you know, for me, it's it's about what somebody really, really wants. Like, what do you want out of life? One more card here for the situation between these two romantically. A thunderbolt. Okay, so I think that, and this is the tower, I think. So this is Aries or it's Scorpio. I feel like, you know, this situation has kind of came out of nowhere. I feel like this person appeared out of nowhere and things are moving very quickly. But I think internally, especially with this inner voice here, which is the high priestess, like, I think that you know that this person is good for you because what's this inner voice saying? What's the inner voice telling Gemini? What's it, this inner voice telling Gemini about this person? That they're alone, they need somebody. Ten of Pentacles. Like, this is a person you can marry. This is a person that you can have everything with. The problem is, is you're in your head, Gemini. That's that's the real tea. That's the real issue here. Um. So the issue is high honors, right? That's all about trophies and honor and success and promotions and, ra and raises and those kind of things, right? It's weird that that is a block or an obstacle, right? I mean, I feel like this has to do with maybe somebody has achieved more in life career-wise uh, than the other person, but it's kind of like a business-related thing almost. So let me see if I can pull one more card here. So maybe this can have to do with maybe somebody's more financially sound than the other person. Um, maybe somebody is, is struggling when it comes to work, okay? And maybe it's it's really about taking a chance on somebody that isn't necessarily financially at your level, vice versa. Unexpected income. You see, this has to do with um, money, Okay, this has to do with accolades. This has to do with those kind of things. Maybe like this person, you or this person, one of you guys is struggling financially and that's why that's coming in and something is being asked. Like, okay, here, here you go. Something of that extent. Why is this a block? Why is this a block or an external outcome? Because of the Nine of Pentacles. That's Venus and Virgo. Rightness. It's interesting. I feel like there is somebody that is very financially sound and maybe somebody's testing somebody. That's what I'm getting strongly. Somebody's testing to see how far this other person can go. You know, especially when it comes to money. Are they willing to contribute money? Or are they going to go silent about it? Or are they just not going to acknowledge it at all? Like, I feel like somebody here is not doing as well as the other person, right? Somebody is having uh, financial issues while the other person is not, right? And it's really like, do you help this person? Do you take a leap of faith? Do you say, fuck it, here, let me help you? You want a place to live? You want to move in? Okay, fine. That's fine, right? Or do you go back and forth about it? Like, I feel like this is definitely something that's coming up here. And it's coming up for a reason. Why? Or how does Gemini feel about this?
All right, I mean, Queen of Cups, so definitely Cancer. I feel like for you, Gemini, it's a level of security and stability. It's also you giving, especially if you have a Cancer Moon, Cancer Rising, Cancer Venus. I feel like for you guys, you're so used to giving constantly, similar to Leo, where it's like it's natural for you guys to give. How does this person feel about the current block or obstacle between them? Okay. And this is uh, the Ten of Swords, which is Rebirth. So I think for this person, it's harder for them to see, to be with you, Gemini, who is successful and has success in many areas. It's like they feel like, um, you know, like they don't have enough to give, right? And it's interesting with this Rebirth, it's like um, the camel is the... Um, Th that's where it's like our training, right? The camel has the illusion that he or she is a mountain, not a camel, right? So you go from being in a state where you have a level of mind control and then it goes to the lion, right? Possibly dealing with a Leo or another Gemini, Mercury and Gemini. But then what happens with the lion is you start going off of your own intuition and you start understanding that, hey, I see what's going on here with the camel. You know, everything that's been said to me, everything that's been done to me, like I'm done and tired with. And then that lion then turns into the child who is a level of innocence. So I feel like for this person, they may have been somebody in the past who was very financially solid. And now they're going into a place where they have nothing. And now they're relying on somebody else to offer them help. That's kind of what I'm gathering here from all, you know, the income cards. Okay. For your outcome, you do have the Empress. So Gemini, be careful because if your ass doesn't want to get pregnant, I highly suggest you, you do what you need to do. Um, but there is something growing here. There's something coming from this situation. All right. Well, Gems, talk to you later.